What's up, Jigsaw Peace? And today, people will bring you episode number 76 of our Pokemon Conquest Let's Play. In the last episode, we went ahead and finished off Kotaro's story, and today we're going to dive into a brand new story. So, if you're excited about that, please go ahead and. Before we get into anything, if you mind just having that like button down below, because your support really does mean the world, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to help me help the Jigsaw Pieces grow. Now, the story we're diving into today is Mitsunari's Not Worth Fighting Over. And apparently, so once I've Difficulty. It's got four areas on the map, so it looks like it's a really quick story. Uh, the tale of three good friends who become embroiled in a trivial argument who could have known where it could would lead. So we're going to dive into that today. Let's do it. Some trivial matters had caused Mitsunari, Kiyomasa, and Masanori to argue. Unable to resolve their differences, the three went in their separate ways, each to a different kingdom. That was not to be the last they would see of each other, however. Okay. No sooner do I become Warlord of Ignis, than I hear word that those two are now Warlords of Fontaine and Greenleaf. But they are no match for me. I'll show them who's boss. Alright. Uh, my layout is still old school, so... Let me... Let me, let me, let me quickly change it to blankly blank for now. Conquer four kingdoms. So that seems pretty simple, right? That seems pretty simple. So we have Sizzle, yo, Sizzle? And a Charmeleon. I think the play is, is, uh, I think the play is green leaf, right? Problem is, we've got no one to defend, and I don't know how this game is going to play out. Because I don't know if they're going to attack us. Sometimes they, in games like this they do, sometimes they don't. Sorry, I got well message in me. <clears throat> okay, capture the banners. Easy. Easy. Although not so easy with two. That's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain, it's a bit of a pain, it's a bit of a pain. We need to kind of see where they go to see where I how I split my ones up. Obviously like Sizzle's better equipped to take on the Larvitar, Charmeleon's better off to take off on the Pan Sage. Okay. Alright, so Sizzle up. Charmeleon left. Got it. <clears throat> what does Sizzle have? X Sizzle? That's actually not not great. <laughs> it's actually not great. Charmeleon's gonna have to scoop up this flag before moving on. Which is interesting. Okay, that's not too bad because we're only missing out like one square distance wise. That's fine. I think he makes it to the flag. Yeah, he does. Okay. That Larvitar is so obsessed with that flag, he didn't attack. How wild is that? This is a two shot, so we're having a good time there. Oh, he healed! That's gonna teleport him somewhere. That's actually a play. That's actually a serious play. Like, what? I've gotta move off my thing to go and chase him down there. And either I go back and. Oh, no, I don't go back. I don't go back. Here's Rock Chin. Fuck that. <clears throat> He's gonna take that flag. He's gonna take the middle flag. Wow. Okay. It actually turns um, X Scissor into. I think it's X Scissor, yeah. 
into a three shot, not two shot. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. This is the one shot. So we have no worries over it. Oh, what a crit! And he's refusing to move. This is game. This is actually game. <clears throat> Alright, I can go here. Oh, I missed from there. Hold up. I missed from there as well. I think the only place I hit is here. And I don't want to hit from there. Because that's just stupid. So I'm just going to... Wait. He's a range move, right? Okay, I'm going here then. You claim the flag. This plant thing's annoying. And then we start hitting him. Ooh! <clears throat> Don't like that. That put me in a position to get hit. Don't like that. Springy flower, I didn't know they did that. We're 76 episodes in though, and oh, he crit me. What a fucker. <clears throat> 76 episodes in, I didn't know I did that. As I said, this is a. I think, I think it's a three shot with heals, so. Last one. How much did he heal? Yeah, we're good. We're good. This game set and match. Alright, he's out of the picture. Next time we take a flag. Chop done! Easy! Easy, 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 easy. Done. A pathetic opponent. Rude. A little bit rude there. And we recruit the Pan Sage. I think that it's automatically going to be stuck in Greenleaf, right? I would like to have put the Panzage over back in Ignis just to cover something, but mm. come on, thank you. Because I think we're going to get attacked. They didn't attack. All right. Well, that makes things piece of piss right there. That makes things stupidly easy. This is going to be over in one episode. If it stays like this, it's going to be over in one episode. Um, I'm thinking of just using the Charmeleon and the Panseer for this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to use the, um, I'm not using the Sizzle. Because the Panseer one shots the Wooper, and Charmeleon should have no problem with the score up <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm just writing some notes for myself. Simple enough, defeat everyone. Then you go press the button. We should have no problems. Oh, 
Floodgate 1 down. <clears throat> I think that Whooper's aiming for my Charmeleon. Oh, I know the enemy is. Enemy is Pokemon. I know my own! Uh, with both wisdom and strategy on our side, we have nothing to fear. It's true. It's true. Cause. Bye! Boom, done. This is ridiculously easy. Well, the whole thing is stupid easy. No poison. Thank you. Now, this doesn't kill, which I'm a little surprised by. Did get a burn though. I'll go here. It's one point of damage. He's burned there, he's gonna do diddly butt kiss. He's gonna do diddly butt kiss. <clears throat> he knocked out my pants age though, I don't like that. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is stupidly quick. Alright. And we're recruiting the Whooper. Whooper! What's your connection with the other ones? Hang on. Okay. Okay. It's the same for ours or something. Save game! I honestly don't even think we need to recruit. I'm just gonna end next month. And then it's. Um, okay. So. This is over so quick. Full reinforcements. This is everyone where it left. Excuse me. Stupidly quick. One episode for a whole story? Whoa! No, it won't take long. Okay, excuse me. Get them all out of my way. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. We're just going to smack everyone. This is so easy. Like, I know it was one star, but this is ridiculous. This is for do it in like 15 minutes. This is crazy. This is crazy. Alright. Uh, Trying to position. Trying to work out positioning. Okay, so I think if I go here, smack them. Nice, for nice, for nice. Thank you, thank you. And then we go here. We should be able to hit the Jigglypuff. Yeah! Jigglypuff gone. You're not healing no one. That was a crit. We, we come into this like a fucking whirlwind. We just ruined everything.
His whole story just done. Oh, he flinched. Oh, that's not good. I think he's in the way. You know, Sizzle, victory in battle is all the, a matter of reason. In due course, all will become clear. Alright. I think we're going to attack from here. Oh, my God. I can't hit him. I can't hit him with my Sizzle. Or unless I go there. Actually, I think I can. I think I can. Yaw! Yeah, there you go. Game, set, match, story, done. I never thought I'd have the pressure to meet anyone as strong as you. A pathetic opponent. Damn right. I agree. Me and Mitz and Ari's on the same wavelength here. That was stupid easy. It doesn't matter where I put them, the, the game's already over. Right, the game's already over. I see, please take me along with you. Boom! Now do you get it? You two just aren't a match for me. Ah, your head is far too big for your own good! And yours aren't big enough. But I suppose you could be of some help to me nonetheless. Maybe serving under me will help those impoverished brains of yours to grow a little bit. <laughs> He's insufferable. Look, if you want our help, just ask us. I want no such... Th oh, so that's what you mean? For someone who's so clever, you're pretty hard to understand. This is why I set, my, set out on my own in the first place. Don't worry, come on, come with us. We'll go to the beach and have some fun. After Mitsunori won the conflict, the three became friends once more. Although it was just a matter of time before they would fall out again. That was a stupidly quick story. And that does indeed wrap up today's episode. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, we'll be kicking off another new story in the next episode. So that's exciting, right? Three, new st three stories in three episodes. Yeah. Finishing one. Finishing two, starting anew, because I don't know what. Actually, you know what, let's have a look, quick look before we do a finishing, see whose story we're diving into next. Lovely. Wobbly, lovely, lovely. Wobbly, lovely, lovely. Uh, Key or Master story not worth fighting over? Two. Okay. Oichi's story, the Rose of Ransai, has been unlocked. Okay. So we're diving into Nene's. I wanna be. I the story of three ninjas who bicker over their role in Ransai and what Nene decided to do about it. Teaching them a lesson? So it's the same area as the Shroud of Darkness. Okay. Okay, well, well that's what we'll be diving into in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please go ahead and like, comment, share and subscribe. Help me in helping the Jigsaw pieces grow. I've been Jamie Jigsaw and I'll see you guys next time.